The last time we met was in another movie uh -huh. when the COVID-19 was in China and then we helped you guys try to help the yeah, Chinese, Chinese right. and, then, and now we're getting back. Hi everyone, this is Raz and I'm in Israel right now. Yesterday I posted a video asking people in China to help me and give me advice. How can I help people around the world? And I got so many comments, incredible. People giving such warm, honest advice from their experience. More than a thousand comments and requests asking us to print this handbook. There's a link to it right here. It was posted by Jack Ma. It's prevention and treatment of COVID-19. There's about 68 pages, includes how to do screening for suspected COVID-19 cases, how to do different levels of protection. There's all the things that can be visually, citizens and doctors will be finding very useful. This information could save lives here in Israel. I think today my main task is to get this handbook this thing to as many people as possible in Israel. So a lot of people told to wash your hands, put alcohol gel. We have these ones, surgical masks, three layers. Everyone watching this video, please wear a mask when you go out now, everywhere in the world. I will take one more mask for you, obviously. Now I'm going toward a place that a friend told me I can print right away. It's one of the only still open places for printing. I want at least 300 copies. Uh, 4,000 shekels, that's about 8,000 RMB. But I think at this time, anything that can help the doctors fight this thing, we should all be doing it. I came here to where they printed. It's amazing. We do want to leave a little surprise for the doctors in the hospital who are going to receive this. Check it out. Translated messages in Chinese and English. Okay, so this side, you can see other messages. So I'm going to fold it and I'm going to put it in each one of these notebooks. Thank you guys for all the messages. I'm doing my best to make sure this gets to the right people at the right time. I got the booklets and now I'm gonna go directly to the hospital. I'm gonna use this opportunity to tell people a bit about the coronavirus in Israel. There is a growing number of policies asking people to quarantine themselves. The schools are off, a lot of the work is not. There is still people going out for emergency issues. That's why I still see people in the streets. I'm sure some of them are not really out for a good reason. A lot of places tell people how to cough properly, wash their hands, but nobody's talking about wearing a mask. Sadly, I don't have the N95 mask, but I think this is enough to prevent me from infecting others and also protect me. Israel is actually doing a lot of testing. It's actually per capita, it's number three in the world after Korea, China. There's even drive-throughs where people can get tested. Billions of people who are fighting something together and we need to share knowledge. Israelis love sharing knowledge and I'm sure the government, the people, the doctors, we're all observing and learning and... We arrived at Israel's biggest hospital called Sheba Medical Center. It's the um, world's top 10 hospital, ranked number 9 for many years. And I'm sure that this is the best hospital to give this to because a lot of the coronavirus patients and doctors are right here in the front line fighting. Big hospital in Israel called... 36.5 36.8 Great! Just entered the hospital and they're doing this ceremony now. They got all the doctors together. What's going on? Let's see. heard that this was a global effort to applaud and support the doctors all around the world. I, I'm shocked it happened today. Now I'm about to go and meet a doctor and give it to him so he can help me 
give this to the rest of the staff here and share this information. A lot of protection you can recommend to the patients yeah. for yourselves, you can mm -hmm. see. So they had some prints here for CTs for people who are sick, so you can see exactly what it looks like. It just came out yesterday. It's the most up-to-date on coronavirus medical information. The last time we met was in another movie uh -huh. when the COVID-19 was in China. And then we helped you guys try to help the yeah, Chinese. Help and, then, and now we're getting back. Thank you very much for this. This is very helpful. As we coordinate in Sheba Medical Center, Israel's largest hospital, fight against coronavirus in Israel. We were the first one to open an isolation right, ward. True. We are very, very happy, for example, that for the last two days, there were no new cases in one. By doing the right things, there is hope. And, and bringing hope is very important. Also, there is attached a messages from many people. There's actually more than 3,000 people wow. around China that have sent us messages. In Shiba Medical Center, look at you, admire what you are doing, your sacrifice for your people. You are example to us all, and I hope that things will get better and we can continue our long-lasting collaboration and work together for both the people of China of Israel. So bye-bye from Shiba Medical Center and thank you very much. I just got back two hours ago and I took a quick shower, washed myself, and then I also... Oh, somebody's home. Oh. And then I took a nap, changed my clothes. Hey, Abba. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you go back? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a great opportunity to show everybody in the world how sharing information, knowledge, IP can save lives, and create some kind of feeling that you know we are all from the same universe. Mm -hmm. We have different mountains, we have different rivers, but we all share the same sun, the same moon, the same stars. I hope this thing inspires more people around the world to go and support, do whatever you can to show a bit of that appreciation because they need us. And continue communication between cultures and people. Just like they have here. The world is one big family and we're behind each other. Ciao. Good luck to everyone. <laughs>